In today's two minute tip, we're gonna be looking at how to improve your striking when we're playing that pitch shot. So that pitch shot that tries to get up in the air or get the ball up in the air as quickly as we possibly can so it can land on the green and stop as quick as it can. If you look at some of my other pitching videos, it kind of gives you a bit more information on the pitch shot. But these particularly are the Gs that are 100 yards and in. These are the scoring shots. These are the ones we need to try and get as close to the flag as possible so we can give ourselves that opportunity to, to hold a putt or maybe a two putt. On the ninth hole here at Chadwell, we've got 73 yards. So for me, that is my 54 degree wedge, playing a half a swing. It's really important that you do know your distances. Come down, we'll get the, the launch monitor out and we'll have a double check to see exactly how far you hit all your, your wedges when you're doing a full shot, half shot just so that when you get to the course and you've got a yardage, you know exactly what club to pick and what swing to use. So yeah, for me, this is my 54 degree wedge, half swing, pitch up. And the two things that we're gonna try and do to make sure that your strike's gonna be a lot more important or a lot, a lot more consistent, is one, don't give up on the shot. Do not decelerate. We really need to maintain the speed through the shot. See, so many people kind of get up to here and then just go and go, no good. We're gonna try and maintain speed through the through your through swing through your shot we're just going to let the, the, the length of your swing kind of dictate how far the ball's going to go obviously as, as much as what the club is so number one maintain your speed number two when you do your swing make sure that we're going to keep those elbows locked in none of these chicken wings so we're going to keep those elbows locked in i see so many people kind of go like this so this detaches their left arm where they flick it on the inside too much or people that start going up like this and this is where this right elbow comes away we're going to keep those elbows tucked in for as long as you possibly can and just utilize your body to make your swing so pitch shot ball's going to be in the center like we said in previous videos got my got my club of choice arms in or elbows in maintain the speed Okay, I pulled that a little bit, but the distance is actually pretty good because I know exactly what club I'm using and I know the length of swing that I'm going to be using. Another quick two minute tip. So if you've got any questions, please leave me a comment in the box below. Make sure you hit me up on social media, which is at Danny Harwood PGA. Contact me there too. If you've got any questions, visit my website, dannyharwoodpga.com or have a look at some of my other YouTube videos that might help too. That wraps that up and take care. Bye for now.